okay so welcome back to the sixth tutorial now we are going to make very few changes to this pcb because we forgot the most the most important uh, component which is a fuse which can protect all your components based on, uh, present on your pcb now if you open the arduino uno board every arduino has a resettable fuse over here which can be seen over here so let's go back to eagle and add a resettable fuse for that uh, i'm gonna go to add and scroll all the way down to polyfuse smd i'm gonna share the link of this uh, library in the description now to keep things uh, simple I'm gonna go ahead and do a 1206 package which is like let's say can do 16 volts as well so yeah this one which can hold a current up to 750 milliamps and maybe it trips to, I think so at 1.5 amps or something like that so yeah let's add this one it's from uh, the the manufacturer little fuse and they have the data sheet and source and all that kind of stuff over here so mpn stands for manufacturer's part number if you can just google for this number you can find out the price the costing and all that kind of stuff okay so i'm just going to select this and click on okay and i'm going to place this in between uh, the power jack input and the input of the the voltage regulator for that I have to delete this particular trace and maybe push uh, the jack a bit to the left over here so I'm gonna do that I've deleted this trace firstly I'm gonna select this and then I'm gonna do a control right click so that I have enough space for the fuse there we go and I'll just put the fuse somewhere in between yeah looks good and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the classic net my grid is messed up my grid is very badly messed up and I'm not gonna spend more time on that now let's see if the move tool can yeah that works another thing i would like to add is more jumpers on the vcc ground and the reset pin now this is the dtr pin now right now the only way to program this board is via uart vcc ground dtr rx and tx but let's say since this is a prototyping board i would like to add a little bit more flexibility so that we can also program it over the AVR ICSP, which uses the SPI interface of the Arduino. For that, we don't need the DTR pin, but we need a raw, um, like the, the reset pin. So I'm just gonna add a jumper pin, uh, which say, let's say has three headers. So that's what happens when you messed up mess up the, the schematic grid so do not do that and how not to do that is by changing uh, these values because it says hint it strongly recommend to use the default grid in schematics that's the reason why so i think so yeah we are pretty much done with this version of the basic duino now there are a few things over here which have uh, not been added 
do not worry about the not saved if i just hit control s this thing gets uh, saved and a new uh, date gets added to that that's not a problem but we need to add a revision the name of the designer and what uh, this uh, sheet does so how to do that i'm gonna go in edit global attributes i'm gonna add a new attribute the name of the attribute is let's say uh, this stuff over here after the greater than sign so i'm gonna do c revision and value let's say v 1.0.0 I'm gonna hit okay i'm gonna add one more which says designer and i'm gonna add my name and hit okay let's say add one more which says c name and so this thing has this schematic has the micro controller plus power plus headers and i'm gonna hit okay click okay and everything gets updated so this line basically over here tells a viewer let's say you have a pdf of the schematic uh, and i don't want to uh, uh, dive deep inside and check what each and every part does so i'll just come over here and see what the schematic uh, describes as a, a list of all the modules so that's it uh, with the schematic we are done now if i have a minor change i'll just push this one zero to uh, this zero to one so then i have a proper version control a three coded version control so that's it for the schematic let's uh, move to the pcb and finalize our pcb all right uh, so we are in the board uh, layout right now and here you can see the two new added components now i'm going to just use the move tool and drag them where i need them this one was over here yeah and i'm going to hit ratchets because it's showing me unrouted ground uh, wire air wires so after hitting ratchets everything disappears now the only unrouted wires are over here and over here first let's focus on the resetable fuse now this is uh like we discussed before um, a single layer pcb with copper on the uh, layer 16 which is behind uh, this pcb and the components are placed on the top now this particular uh, res um, fuse is a uh, smd fuse which is a surface mount device and surface mount components well they go both on the top and the bottom layer but right now since you can see the pads are red and if i use the route tool you can see it will be routing in red which means we are routing on the top layer now we don't want that because we are only routing on the bottom layer to push this component on the bottom layer i'm going to pick the mirror tool and just do a left click now the component is on the bottom layer therefore the routing will also be done on the bottom layer and i'm gonna hit rat's nest and now i'm just going to use the route tool to complete the routing and make sure we select the bottom layer and increase the width of it please yeah i'm sorry i don't want to yeah so i do it and here we go now the fuse is on the other side of the pcb and we are still using one layer okay so let's see what sort of mess is going on over here let me perfectly align this thing with these jumpers uh, yeah more or less they look the same now here you can see there is an overlap of this trace with uh, this pad over here we don't want that to happen we can simply use the move tool to push this in a better way or uh, route this in a better way and here we go that was easy 
I'm gonna hit rat's nest again yeah that works you can also push this a little bit so that it completes the ground polygon and now the only unrouted air wire is the reset pin oh too big yeah i'm just gonna verify it's 0 0.4064 is this the same it's not so i'm gonna just update this thing and eagle updates the width of the track now everything looks complete now let's go ahead and add some mounting holes so just in case you have to mount this thing in a uh, let's say a 3d printed case or a plastic case or something like that you need mounting holes to do that just select the hole tool now uh, I've selected the drill size to be of 3.1 mm so let's say you have an m3 bolt that can pass easily if you select 3.0 then that would be um, let's say tight space for the m3 bolt to pass through this hole that won't be good so it's good to go like 0.1 mm or 0.2 mm higher than that now lots of uh, places over here to place the mounting hole let's say uh, we can place one near the jack let's say you are pulling and pushing in the jack the PCB needs to be fixed properly for that to happen so yeah let's do that exactly in the line of the jumper one over here I've got space over here as well this looks like a nice place and in the same y-axis Let's see if we can place it somewhere over here, but it's gonna overlap with the resistor. So yeah, I'll just place it anyways and move the resistor now. okay so your pcb does look complete i mean in terms of uh, functionality but how do you know if uh, did you mess up anything in this or not let's say this whole pcb is like 100 lines of code that you wrote now to check the correctness obviously you hit the compile button and the ide th and the compiler throws back errors is there something like that in eagle as well to check well yes of course for that you have to go in the bottom left and do a design rule check so i'm just going to click on design rule check and it has all these tabs which has these certain rules now let's say we are uh, talking about layers so in this thing we have layer 1 and 16 you can easily uh, remove layer 1 over here or add more layers and make this a four layer pcb and uh, six layer pcb and that sort of stuff right now the layer things can be uh, ignored but what is rather important is uh, clearance distances sizes uh, the clearance is wire to wire clearance pad to pad clearance via to via and uh, the alternate combination of these three now these are in mills so you can easily convert them to mm's uh that's uh, not a problem next we go to distances between uh, the copper drill hole and that sort of stuff sizes the minimum trace width the minimum drill now these things are defined by your uh, pcb manufacturer uh, on their website so before you uh, either start designing uh, your pcb and you have finalized your pcb manufacturer then you can just ask them for uh, the minimum uh, with the minimum drill minimum micro via blind via that sort of thing we will get into the micro via and the blind via in uh, the following tutorials which will be a dual layer pcb tutorial annular rings again this is for uh, multi-layer uh, pcbs uh, shapes well pads goes for a top layer and that kind of stuff supply masks uh, this is about the soldering mask and the stop layer and miscellaneous not much is uh, important as of this tutorial but we will surely get into this uh, later 
so all i can do is hit the check button now which will check for errors in my pcb so i'm just gonna hit check and it says there are there is one error and there is one warning just like your c c plus plus python code so i'm just gonna double click on uh, this red uh, icon and it says air wire air wire means it's unrouted now although these two are the same signals you can see there is a faint line over here which says unrouted so i'm just going to take the route tool and complete the routing yeah and you can see the error disappears dynamically now let's double click on this warning which says wire stub oh yeah so when we unrouted this and added the fuse something messed up over here which is like an extra stub and here we go there are no errors and there are no warnings so it was just an overlapping access trace that's it so just to make sure i'm gonna do drc once again and in the bottom left you can see drc no errors now you have a totally error free pcb